everyone welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new my name is Jenna we have already had a full day it feels like on the Saturday holy crap we have just been so busy and it's been super chaotic but we are getting all of the things done today I have a to-do list that I need to accomplish like laundry I have to paint a tree I have to clean the toy box, declutter it. Uh, I need to empty all the trash. I need to clean the bathrooms. But before I clean the bathrooms, I really need to give Rocky and Junior baths, especially Rocky, because, oh my gosh, that dog, he needs a bath before it starts getting cold outside. Toy box is all clean. I wiped down a lot of the toys that just kind of looked dirty and then I did some others as well. Threw some stuff away, organized it. It is all good to go and it looks so much better. Today's video is sponsored by Ella Gear. So thank you so much Ella Gear for sponsoring today's video. You guys know that I have worked with Ella Gear many times here on my channel and I absolutely love their products. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys this Christmas lighted three set box. This is so cute and a must have for the Christmas season of 2024. It comes in five different colors of silver, pink, deep blue, hot pink, and white pearl. The color that I got is pink and I got this for my daughters in their bedroom because they are so excited for Christmas. They love it and they are so excited to decorate as well. And so this is going to be the perfect touch for them this holiday season. There are three different sizes to these Christmas boxes that look like little presents. They are so freaking cute, you guys. Oh my gosh. And you can plug these in as well to light them up or you can just leave them and not plug them in. I will be doing a little bit of both. These Ella Gear Christmas light boxes are very easy to set up. All you have to do is just take them out of each other. They come with a pretty long cord as well, which is really nice. You can make it short or long. Put the bows right on top with the Velcro. Oh my gosh, these are so beautiful and festive. My girls are going to love these for their bedrooms. Everything will be linked down in the description box below, so make sure you guys go check out Ella Gear. Again, thank you so much Ella Gear for sponsoring today's video. As you guys see, we have been very busy with the little tree business we have. We have all of these right here, these four pending pickup. These will be pending pickup, just have to finish the one that I have to paint. And then this one back here is actually ours. Just can't, you know, have it out yet. I have fall decor out and such. But yeah, we are just going right along. We have, what is this, four, five, six, seven. And then number eight is over there that I have to paint. So many trees. One, two, one, two, three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for show. Sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So. 
these are Savannah's leaves that she picked and they're so pretty. They're from the tree in our front yard. Rocky, Rocky, you're not supposed to be up on me. He's trying to bite my hand. Well, he's still teething. Rocky, you ready for a bath? You wanna go take a bath? My bathroom looks like a disaster, ignore it. Um, but this broke. All I did was seriously open this cabinet and look at it, you guys. It snapped it. Like, what the heck? We're gonna have to get a whole new thing. Ugh. These are little sleepies pajamas. I got these for Xavier and you have to hang dry them. However, this one already got stained and it's looking a little bit better. Like I soaked it, but you can still kind of see it right there, which is a bummer because these are very expensive, but these are great quality. I really, really like these. Xavier's growing so fast and these will last a long time and they stretch and whatnot. And so yeah, I really like them, but you have to hang dry them. You don't have to. I did put them in the dryer once, um, but I prefer to hang dry them. Now that all of the kids' costumes have arrived, I want to share them with you guys and what the kids are going to be for Halloween, and I am so excited. They each picked out what they wanted to be, and so Mavericks I got, I think I shared with you guys maybe a couple weeks ago, but I got it at Meijer, and I got it for a really good deal. They all chose what they wanted to be, uh, but Maverick is going to be Mario. How freaking cute. He absolutely loves Mario all things Mario and he was stuck between Mario Luigi or Bowser but he decided on Mario so that's super cute so Maverick is gonna be Mario okay so Xavier has a costume and it's an elephant costume this elephant costume all three now four of my kids will be wearing which is so freaking cute and special like I just love that so much I think it's so sweet that all of them have worn it it was Savannah's first the Maverick Navy and now Xavier and it's just really sentimental to me I'm a sentimental girl and so I will definitely be keeping that costume forever <laughs> anyways but Xavier is going to be Luigi okay so this they didn't have like an official costume in his size like a baby costume that I could find that wasn't like $65 that's insane to me he's a baby why does he need a $65 thing and then the shipping was like two weeks and maybe gonna make it no I'm not doing that so I found this on Amazon I can link it for you guys but it's like a onesie and such and so I'm gonna kind of figure out what I'm gonna do I have a long sleeve one that he could wear underneath or maybe if this is big enough he could wear the elephant costume and then this over it maybe that's a little cheesy I don't know but I thought that was so cute he had to be Luigi because Maverick picked Mario and Maverick was so for it he thought that was so cute the girls couldn't decide for the longest time what they wanted to be Savannah has been a princess for the last like four years I think like she just picks a different one every year and she couldn't decide what she wanted to be she kept going back and forth between Princess Peach and then some Disney princesses that she hasn't been like I said she's been Elsa Anna, Belle, and Cinderella. And so she was stuck between a couple that she wanted to be and Princess Peach. As you can see, there's a theme here. My children love Mario. Last year, Navy was Bluey and she loves Bluey. And so I'm definitely saving that costume for Xavier for next year because Xavier loves Bluey. Whenever it comes on, he's like eyes little like light up or when he hears the music, he knows. And it's so cute. I kept asking Savannah like, you know, we're getting closer. What do you want to be? We got to figure this out before stuff sold out. Are you your size and she decided she wanted to be princess peach she thought it would be super cute that's what she wanted to be navy wasn't so sure like i kept saying animal she kept saying no and then savannah asked her do you want to be princess peach and she said yeah she said well i'm going to be princess peach so we can both be princess peach and navy said yeah so i waited a day or two and then I said, Navy, do you want to be Princess Peach? She said, yes. And then I asked her if she wanted to be something else. She said, no. So we have Princess Peach costumes. We have Savannah's, no wait, is this Savannah's? No, this is Navy's. So here's Navy's and here's Savannah's. The difference is Savannah has a wig and Navy does not. And so Savannah thinks that's really cool that she has a wig and Navy doesn't. And I don't, Navy wouldn't wear a wig anyways, but it's so cute. So they're very close to matching. The colors are almost the same. The costumes look identical almost. So I am really excited. I think it's going to be so cute. I would love 
to dress up and do a theme thing as well with the kids but adult costumes like why are they $60 plus for a costume that's so crazy to me when you wear it like once maybe twice max we're trying to do as many like a little trick-or-treat things as we can with the kids to maximize the wear of the costumes you know what I mean like we're doing a trunk or treat we're doing trick-or-treat and we might do like another trunk or treat <laughs> Drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive I'm out so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at the beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try While I have a moment I wanna talk to you guys about Why I haven't been riding my Peloton The last few days And it has really stunk <laughs> It has not been good. I injured my foot on Monday riding the Peloton. I have done this two other times, so this is the third time this has happened, and it's because I need new cycling shoes. And I really pushed myself. It was a great workout. However, I injured my foot. I'll go ahead and put like kind of like a picture-ish without my toes in it. And I have a very huge bruise. I've been icing it. I haven't been riding, but I did order new cycling shoes. So I'm on my way to being 100% and being healthy. Hopefully in two days, I can get back on it the bruise and the pain you guys oh my gosh it just hurt so bad I was in so much pain and I'm finally getting better but I definitely still have to ice it every two hours because it is just it is not a good situation and I'm just glad that I'm hi <laughs> I'm just glad that I'm finally getting better and that it's almost healed because oh my gosh it hurts so bad and I miss riding I really do I miss riding I've still been exercising I've just not been exercising on the bike So here's the mess in the aftermath after giving Rocky a bath. There's some up there on the wall. Um, yeah, we've got this down here. That's really bad. That's really bad. Well, um, time to get to cleaning.
shower is completely cleaned and the bathroom looks so much better you guys oh my gosh like there was so much dog hair everywhere and look at that looks so much better the key to cleaning up the dog hair was to wipe it with my right hand and then to vacuum it up as i went and i know that's really gross especially with the toilet and it being a bathroom but it's the only way that it worked because when you use one of these disinfecting wipes what it does is the hair just kind of gets everywhere and so when you do it with something that's dry like my hand wipe it and vacuum it as i go i get all the hair up and then i will go ahead and just clean afterwards it is gross when you think about it but i washed my hands as you saw i did clean my shower with a little bit of bleach because it had some discoloring to it i know people will say don't use toxic chemicals this and that but to me if something's really 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 clean like i needed to do that i like to bleach my shower at least once a year and so I'm definitely going to go do it to my shower as well because I do it once a year. I don't think I've actually bleached it in quite a while but I definitely needed it done. It looks like a brand new tub and now I just need to do my shower and I am good to go. I know some don't agree with that but I also have my daily shower spray from Method that I use as well but like I said I really like to just get a good cleaning and do it with that and it looks brand new now. It looks so good. I feel like it's really clean, good to go for the kids. I like to give it a good deep clean after we give Rocky a bath just because you know it's a dog in a tub with the kids. You know what I'm saying? So yeah I feel much better now that that is all clean. gonna let the spray and stuff sit in there and then maybe I'll clean it tonight when I take a shower because I'm tired my foot really hurts I'm gonna go sit down because I got that bathroom all clean and oh my gosh I'm I'm exhausted now that was a lot getting in the tub and cleaning that some good deep cleaning but oh my gosh I need to relax now my foot is killing me from the hard floors how come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder Rocky all nice and clean, you so soft and you smell good according to daddy, huh? He does. <laughs> oh, nice puppy dog, huh? All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here because we are cuddling on the couch, as you can see, watching the Notre Dame Georgia Tech game. Xavier is crawling all over me. Kids are playing, being crazy. I'm so tired from cleaning today and laundry and painting and just taming the children. <laughs> uh, not taming, just chasing them around and such. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please be sure to give it a huge, uh, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys would like to see more. And I will see you in my next video. Sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's just like me. Scared of heights. Why does the rain?